Hello everyone, I am Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Castilian colonization campaign. In Mew and Texas, I'm going to fight Mexico and the Mamluks, and then this country right here, all in this episode. So let's see, let's attack the Mamluks. Damascus finished up their war, and they took a bunch of provinces from them. They have a better border now. That's good. I'm going to try to take Dumyat and Cairo myself. If my aggressive expansion is not too high from taking those provinces. Siege down their provinces. Yeah, so I'm going to take Dumyat, Cairo, and then I'm going to try to take Jeddah and Medina as well. So I can get some more trade in the Gulf of Aden. Jeddah has a bay. They also have negative 142 fort level. That's amazing. Egypt, their bonus idea gives them negative Mamluk government, local autonomy, unrest, bankruptcy. Okay, they're bankrupt, that's why. So these troops are from India. I brought them over. They'll siege over there. Queen Consort died. That scared me. I thought it was my heir. No, I don't want my heir to die. That would be bad. These uh, provinces should go quickly. The Mamluks can't really muster any troops because of their bankruptcy. Yeah, these are two-day siege ticks. It'll be over before long. Not before long. Let's fight in Mexico, give some territory. I have a truce until next year. Okay, so I won't fight there, but I will fight in Africa. Fuda Jalan, they're allied with nobody. Their capital has a fort level 3, so these 5 troops aren't going to be able to siege them down. But I should be able to take the rest of their territory. Let's take this fort. The Sack of Cairo. don't have money. Uh, six, 661, 624. I should have enough money with the uh, tick. There we go. So I will have them turn in looters. There goes all my money. That's fine. Let's see. Give me that, that province. Coalition might form the Ottomans, Tripoli, Bengal, Mali, Maldives. Mm. 
I think I'll leave Cairo for now. It's a little bit better. Demanding Al Medina without occupying any forts. I'll grab this fort and then go up there and grab that fort, because I think I might I probably need both. Let's kill those guys. I want to fabricate a claim on the Ottomans so that I can fight them before the Empire of the Romans cores disappear, which I've got some time. I've got about like 30, 30 years-ish. Let's uh, start carpet sieging Mamluk's province. Says. I'll take this province and then these six will siege down their capital. Ooh, I do not want to fight 17,000 peasants. Unless everybody fights. This will go down in like a month. If even that. Not even a month. The Mamluks are in some poor shape. See, it's uh, 20 away. So I think if I take a couple of these provinces over here, they should. Should accept the peace deal. They're going to walk up to Medina. I have the first four ideas in the bureaucracy group, so I'm almost to the centralization. Just need three ideas left. If my ruler dies a little bit sooner, that'd be great. Because I would get three extra admin. So hopefully he kicks the bucket. Eleven heretic regiments rise up in Gaiaman. Um, where is that? I 
At least there's a fort down there. Would the Mamluks accept? They would. Not war reps, though. Uh, this is fine. Let's take that deal. Wait, no, you protect trade still. You pick them up. I'll send these guys down here. Hopefully they can grab that before this siege is lost. Carmine will not be produced in Krishna. That province is... Oh, okay. I'm not sure what it was before. Add these provinces to the trade company. I could core them, but I won't because I want the centralization. I need to watch because I have a couple of rebellions that are about to rise up that I don't want to. Portuguese separatists and Sunni fanatics, they're pretty big. The Separatists are 35,000, and the Fanatics are 35,000 as well. I got my Naval Dry Dock. Perfect. I should be able to build the next one as well. Naval Arsenal. So is this truce up? November, okay. I could proclaim a holy war. I don't think that's necessary. My uh, war exhaustion is only 1.06. I think if I fight in Mexico, I should be able to call a holy war. Also, I changed the uh, names of my colonies. Florida is now New Spain. Crunia is now New Crunia. Castilian Mexico is Mexico. Yupoca is just Central America. Las Guayanas is Guyana. And then Argentina rose up as well. They were completed. And that's it. Futa Jalon is gone. That's a couple of provinces in the Guinea coast and a couple of provinces in the Niger River. I'm probably going to lose this siege before I can get troops over there. Which is alright. The Mamluks now have a civil war. Let's bring these troops back. Seventy-five percent for the Separatists and 70% for the heretics. Let's 
put these guys back in India. The only reason uh, the Portuguese separatists are rising up, and I think for the most part the Sunni fanatics as well, is because I got hit with one of those turmoil events. That expires in about five years. Oh no. What? Emergence of the Fulani. Uh, so a bunch of provinces gain unrest. So are they just going to be released then? Is that what happens? No? Okay, that's a weird event. Nothing really happened though. send these guys down here to quickly deal with these rebels and then I will bring them back up to Europe so that they can fight the separatists and the fanatics. Hopefully they finish up before those two groups rise up. Truce with Manta Ray ends 90. Okay, so I got some time there. Truce with Maja Hapit. Maja Pahit. 1591, so I have time there as well. Perfect. Let's go ahead and attack Mexico. Nope. It's, uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm reading that wrong. 1586. 1585. I think this siege is going to be lost. Yep. Mm. Not really confident about sending 10,000 men against them, but I have no choice. Hopefully they can win. Those um, Telangana Separatists are still kicking around, which is not good. Come on, Madurai, take care of them. You have 32,000 troops against their 36,000. You should be able to take them out. I sent some troops down here to fight Zanzibar. I think I had a truce with them. I could fight them. Oh, wait, no, no, okay. So, so the problem is I don't have a CB against them. So I'll go ahead and build a spy network. And uh, watch the siege. I have a marked morale advantage over them. 6.6 .6 versus 3.2. Better tactics, 5% better discipline. In between parts, I tested out transferring trade, and it's still, it's like 66 ducats, something like that. So, I make 124 just collecting, so it's still not good. I think once I, once I form Spain, I should be able to transfer trade power.
But for now, collecting is better. By a wide margin. Tunisian Separatists. Where's those ships? Right here. I'll take them out for Aragon. Once I win that siege, I'll pull them up here. Most of these uh, revolts are because of the turmoil from the events. I think Aragon's sending troops over as well. Yep, there they go. I'm going to beat you to it, Aragon. Uh, I think I'm going to end this part here, actually. I will, uh, actually, I'll kill these rebels first and then end this part. Me and Aragon, side by side. Yeah, this guy doesn't want to die. 63 years old. I'm debating... Just kicking him out. I'm kind of worried. I don't want Aragon to break off. So, I'm not sure that's going to happen, but I don't want it to happen. So, I'm just going to let him die naturally. I don't think it'll happen, but I don't want to chance it. So, Aragon can take back their province over there. I'll send my troops back. These guys can go back to the capital. And I will end this part here. I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.